Tu moke moke is a mōteatea and a journey through our tauranga moana, reciting marae, tūpuna and sites of significance. Join us as we learn this local waiata and explore our rohe. Mai ngā kuri a whārei ki te tū. E tū ana au i te roro tōku whare a rauru ki tahi. Ka titiro whakawaho ki te tāhuna o waipū. Mai ngai o papa ki o kahu. Tū mai ki te paeroa. Kia mara ma te titiro o tamataha. Te kainga takato o tōku tīpuna. A tai aho hori ngā tai. Ti hei mauri ora. Whareroa Marae is home to the primary hapu of Ngāti Kuku and Ngaitu Kairangi of Ngaiti Rangi Iwi. It is the only marae located on the harbour side of the Mount Manganui Peninsula. Whareroa was established in the 1800s by Tupuna Rangatira Taiaho Hori Ngātai as a kainga noho for his people. It was an important settlement and resource gathering area, lying just across from Ōtamataha and near Matapihi and Mauau, providing an ideal spot for ready access to the rich seafood resources of Te Awanui Harbour. Horingatai was a hard-working man. He established a farming area at Whareroa, which became the largest producer of wheat and maize in the Tauranga district. He also established a native school in the late 1800s that was nestled within the Whareroa community. There are many significant areas in Matapihi to Whareroa right up to the footsteps of Mauau that are significant to Ngaitu Kairangi and Ngāti Kuku. These include Ōhuki, Te Pairoa, Mahiwahine and Ōmanu, a few areas located within the Matapihi Peninsula where Kainga Noho and Marakai for the hapu. These are still areas occupied by Uri today. Ōmanu is also where our Urupa is situated. Waipū is the foreshore joining Whareroa to the Matapihi Peninsula. The bay held an abundance of kai moana. Horingātai once said, Kāre au e mate kai ana, a nei taku māra kai, that he would never starve because Waipū is what sustains him. Whareroa was renowned for serving kai moana from Waipū and Te Awanui Harbour to their manuhiri. Te Ruruanga, which is also located in Matapihi, is the name of the passage that our tupuna used to take from Matapihi to Whareroa. They would often travel during low tide across Waipū. Right up until the mid-1900s, the only access point to Whareroa was by the Moana. Timaire is the area between Mauau and Whareroa, which was considered wahitapu, especially during high tides. Koiwi, or human bones, were sometimes exposed and washed up on shore. The name Te Maire was given to the block, but also refers to an old fishing spot just offshore. Today, Whareroa is surrounded by large industrial buildings, the Port of Tauranga, the Tauranga Airport, the Harbour Bridge, and the main highway known today as Hewlett's Road. A papakainga is situated at the Marae, which includes Komatua Flats and also our Kohanga Reo. The Whareroa Rauru Kitahi was named after the tupuna who was famous for sticking to his word, e kore te kupu e fati. The Farekai is named after Kurai Monoa. The original Farekai building had burnt down, and after many years of fundraising and community work, in 1975 a new Farekai was opened. We had a fire down at Farekai in the uh, late 60s. Farekai burnt right to the ground. The Farekai was in bad condition. It was ready to be pulled down at any rate. Electrical fault it was. Next day I went down there, and Aunty Kimi was at the old kitchen, crying her eyes out and bringing out all the plates that she could salvage that had Whareroa's name on it. It was very uh, hard to see that old queer amongst the ruins. Then right out of the ruins, it um, became a building and the Whareroa and the Whareroa became our first priority. The, the, the ladies did do a hell of a lot down there, you know. We lost everything, pots, pans, the whole bloody lot. Taki down there writing letters to the government and the bridge committee. One of our big arguments was we thought that the noise from the road was going to be as bad as Mangatapu. So we insisted on putting an embankment up there so that they give us all native trees to plant along there. And all our queers, uh, our ladies all done that. They went out and then planted all the trees. And if you stand by that shed where people have a smoke at the back of the Whareroa, the trees will go so far high and there's some low ones. We insisted that we wanted low trees to look at the Urupa from Hori Nata. Tai